Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you my February favorites. First up would be the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette and the Kat Von D Alchemist Palette because I have used these at least once a week, if not twice a week, for the past month, so I felt like they needed to be here. I know that you can't get this palette anymore, although I did check and I saw that it says coming soon on Sephora, so maybe there's gonna be one last run, so. It's a palette that I love because it's all matte. I've reviewed it, I've done like three or four tutorials with it. So I think it's fantastic. This is not limited edition, also really great. If you have the Furinae shades like Crimson Ghost, Jade Ghost, you have similar shades, so you may not need this palette. But if you don't, this is an awesome palette. Next, I'm sure it comes as no surprise, but it's my Makeup Geek Celestial Highlighter. I am wearing it right now. I think it's amazing. I pretty much wear it nonstop, and if I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing Moon Phase, which is um, one of the other iridescent highlighters by Makeup Geek. I just, I love how it looks on my skin. I feel it's very, very flattering to porcelain complexions, and you can see the color shift really easily. You can apply it subtly if you want, but why would you want to? I mean, I guess some people do, but I am not that person. I like my highlighter to, to be very visible to me. So yeah, I personally love it. I love the formula, the packaging is pretty cute. I don't like that it shows fingerprints so easily, but you know, that's all right. And I've actually made a dent. You can see a dent in this highlighter, which is kind of exciting because I've never panned a highlighter before. So I'm working on this one. Who knows? It might happen. It could happen. Next up would be the Eden Minerals Nor Skin Foundation in uh, Yorin, J-O-R-U-N-N. I love this stuff because it is great for my dry skin. I think it looks great. The only reason I'm not wearing it in this video is because I was experimenting with a way to make Kat Von D Light 41 neutral work for me and I may have hit on it. Um, let me look in the mirror. Yeah, I don't think it looks terrible. I actually feel like I, I feel like my foundation looks pretty good right now. If it works, I'll make a video about how to make that foundation work for dry skin but this is me just testing it out. Anyway, yeah, this foundation is awesome. I love it because one, it's moisturizing for my dry skin. Two, I don't have to mix it to get a perfect match for my skin tone because this color just matches me perfectly. It's awesome. It is a neutral, pale foundation. If anything, it might lean slightly warm, but it works wonderfully with my skin. It blends in seamlessly. I think it's amazing and I really, really love it. I hope that this brand, Eden Minerals, decides to expand their uh, foundation range because it's a pretty limited range right now and really they only have shades for very, very pale skin to like light medium, not even solid medium, but light medium. Next up would be Sugar Pill Strange Love with Urban Decay Hex Pencil. This specific combo I feel is a really, really great deep sexy red on me. I wore this for Valentine's Day. I wore it for a tutorial. I've worn it a couple times just because I feel like if I want to put nothing else on, like maybe if I just want to put on foundation and a lip, this looks really nice and like, I don't know, I feel like it looks sexy, kind of classy. So yeah, I love it. I think it's great. This is only available in the Feline Fancy set right now. I'm hoping that Sugar Pill will offer it as a single soon. So for those of you who love the Sugar Pill liquid lipstick formula, you can pick it up. But I haven't heard that they're gonna do that. So I'm just, it's, it's wishful thinking on my part. Next would be a skincare product. I have been using this like crazy for the past month. This is the Body Shop Drops of Youth liquid peel. If you caught my best masks, I actually listed this in with my best masks because the way this works is awesome for dry skin. It's like a, it's like a clear, well, it's like a milky kind of gel that basically you put on your fingertips and you rub it on your face. And like basically as you're rubbing it on your face, it gets all of like the dead flaky skin on your face and like basically sucks it out of the, its pores and just takes it off. So it's kind of like a peel mask type thing. And I think it's great because basically I get a lot of dryness around the sides of my nose. Like that's where I think the worst dry patches are, which you can usually see with foundation. And I've been using it before I put on foundation and I haven't really had cakiness going on right there. Like, like I mentioned, I'm wearing the Kat Von D Locket foundation, which tends to be cake city for me. There's no caking right now. Kind of impressed. So yeah, you're only supposed to use this two or three times a week. I have been using it around my nose pretty much every day just because I feel like it's really doing a good job of getting rid of that skin that just oh, is always terrible and a problem for me. But I've only been using it on the rest of my face three times a week because I feel like if I do it much more, I might be pushing it since I have sensitive skin. I think this is probably my favorite pro product to come out of the body shop in the past year at least. It's really, really good in my opinion, especially if you have dry, like, dry skin like me and you are stuck dealing with those just gross flaky dry patches that you can't even necessarily see, but you know that as soon as you put on a foundation, they're gonna the foundation's gonna cling to them. 
So yeah, this stuff is pretty awesome. Next up would be the It's a 10 Miracle Deep Conditioning Mask Plus Keratin. I picked this up at my drugstore, which is public, like right before I got my hair dyed hot pink. I wanted to use a mask in my hair three days before I got it dyed so that it would be in as good of health as it could possibly be. So that's what I used. And this stuff makes my hair feel like silk. It's pretty awesome. So for when I'm going to be using the hair mask and it's not gonna be the overtone hair mask which deposits color back, this is the mask that I'm using. And it's so affordable. I think it was like 10 bucks at the grocery store. So it was really cheap. And the last item on my list would be Urban Decay's Vice Lipsticks. I've been living in these. I'm right now wearing the shade front of me, which is like this super bright neon pink. Super bright pink. And this is Checkmate. This is more like a, almost kind of like a neon coral color, like coral pink. Oblivion, this is a gray taupe. It's one of my favorite types of uh, living dead girl lipstick colors. And Peyote, because I was hopping on that rose gold makeup trend. These have been my four favorite shades. So that's it for my favorites. Now on to the chit chat part of the video. First order of business, if you are not subscribed to my newsletter, you are missing out. I currently have an awesome Urban Decay giveaway going on that's worth about $298. So I will put a link in the description box below so you can go check that out and enter the giveaway because I, you know, who doesn't want to win a ton of Urban Decay stuff? I know I would. Erica from the Fear and X Facebook group made an awesome shirt design that says Sanity's a one trick pony and it has a unicorn. I just put that design up in the Spreadshirt shop. So if you're interested in checking that out, it will be there. I've also commissioned two different designs for the Spreadshirt shop. One is Makeup is My Magic and the other one is Makeup is My Art. So as soon as those are live, I will put those up in the Sharp Spreadshirt shop. This Friday, I've been invited to do a Facebook live chat in the Poised chat group, which is part of the Poised and Purpose Facebook page. My friend Kaylee asked me to do this chat, so if you are interested in that, I will also have the information on that down below as well. Many of you have reached out to ask how Phaedra is doing, and she is doing much better. In fact, I feel like she's basically had, you know, she, she's basically acting like she's back to her normal self. She hasn't had any other seizures, so right now I feel confident that she's doing okay. But on the other hand, Dave's dog Max, which is our little black pug, is not doing so well. I. I believe he has congestive heart failure. He has this horrible cough nonstop and he's been on antibiotics for months and months and months and this cough is not going away. I'm really kind of concerned because you know, he is 14 or 15. He's, he's pretty old for a dog, pretty old for a pug. And he just, I don't know, like there are days when he seems like he's doing okay. And then there are times when it just seems like he's so miserable but he's still eating, like he gets super excited about food. I've never had a dog that was so excited about food. Literally, if you walk out of um, my bedroom in the morning and you don't put food in his bowl, he will start howling. And that's another thing, he can't even really bark, like bark or yodel anymore, because pugs kind of yodel more than bark like a, a real, I don't wanna say a real dog, but more than bark like Phaedra does, he kind of like makes an arf arf noise. But because he's had this cough, he doesn't even really bark, he just sort of coughs. So he gets so excited and he tries to bark, but then he's really just coughing. So I feel bad for him. But he does he does still get super excited about food. Whenever I put food down, he like runs over and he makes like these little pig hungry hungry hippo type noises. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's kind of hilarious. Anytime he eats, he's like really excited. And then after he eats, he runs around the house, like he runs laps around the house as well as he can. And he's like, he kind of totters on his little legs at this point. And I feel like his back legs drag a little bit. So he kind of just like scampers around, but then he'll go like jump on one of the dog beds and he'll like kick his little feet up in the air. And he's like, yes, this is so awesome. I'm so happy. So I don't know. I just, there are days I'm worried that like it's gonna be his last day and then you know he keeps surprising me and he's like oh no I'm still kicking I'm still alive so I don't know I feel bad and I'm worried about him and we keep bringing him to the vet and the vet's like well you know he's on these antibiotics this should be helping so I don't know I'm actually kind of wondering if it's um if he's doing so bad right now because it seems like we had I don't know less than a month of winter here in Florida and I feel like we're already dealing with spring allergies like I have had the worst headache on and off and I thought it was just because of you know getting my roof replaced and the hammering but I'm not even sure now I, it makes me wonder because I think he I, I think Max has like allergy problems and that's why he'll cough sometimes in general and I'm kind of wondering if that's just making him more miserable or, or whatever but Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm worried about Max because I'm afraid he's just gonna like, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna wake up and he's gonna be dead. And on the one hand, yeah, he's really, really old, but on the other hand, Dave, Dave is pretty much gonna be devastated. Anyway, I've babbled at you long enough. That's what's going on with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my February favorites. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share. 
And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.